Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. In today's podcast, we are going to dive into my September makes and my October plans. Uh, we're already on the second week of October, time flies by, so I will have to uh, really get going if I want to do make anything at all this month. But last month, I only had two makes. Uh, yes, first month on my course, and um, yes, it's been kicking my ass. Uh, but uh, I have one assignment a week to send, so it's keeping me on my toes. So I think two to three makes a month is going to be my average. And possibly a small thing and a few bits. Hopefully that's what we can keep up with. So uh, to start off with my makes, um, I have the kilo dress from Name Clothing here. It is made out of a mossy green drill drill or twill fabric and never know which one is what. It's quite a stiffer fabric so it keeps a kind of an origami shape which I really liked and as a result it looks like something for going out more than a casual make. So if I haven't had the time to make anything for my Christmas party this year I think I will wear this um, and I think it will just look fine. Um, because I might not have the time for it. So instead of beating myself up, I have something made up already. <laughs> so in terms of sizing, I cut a size 12 because that's where I fell into the sizing chart. And I thought I was, in, I was torn between the size 10 and 12, uh, but simply because that's a woven fabric, I went for the size 12. Next time I will go for a size smaller because as you can see, it's a bit gapy still. There's plenty of room in there, so I think a size 10 will do just fine. So I think it's about trying and see what fabric you're going to have. Um, possibly if you go for a stretchy fabric, you can go get away with something way smaller. One thing that I've had to do is shorten the length quite considerably, about 3 to 4 inches I think. And I'm not a small, I'm not small, I'm 5 foot 7 so um, not the smaller category, I have small legs, uh, but I didn't think that I needed to cut that much. So I guess if you're tall, this pattern is going to be just fine. Ooh, lots of light right now. <laughs> the weather is, is, is a bit weird, so if you see a difference in light, um, don't worry, it's just British weather. Um, what was I? I don't know. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so um, I had to cut it. Um, quite a lot so it's been trying and see what was working at the moment you will see in the close-up uh, that it's right at my ankles so it was really really long uh, in terms of the bottom as well it goes that way so I wore it for my birthday earlier this month and I had worn this with a pair of Converse because I put Converse with everything and I barely walk properly uh, not at my regular pace but I tried this with a pair of heels and um, you know you walk a bit slower with heels so um, it's a lot easier but overall I've been very happy with it uh, the only concern I had in terms of the make was under the armhole I don't think I understood the pattern properly <laughs> so I have to redo it again to see how that goes uh, possibly just because I did one way, I tried to follow the pattern for this side and then on this one I decided to try something different and it seemed to work better for me. So I did the uh, binding um, hemming first and then I finished the side and I liked it better. I think I thought it was a bit neater uh, in the finish so I think next time that's how I'm going to finish it. We'll see how that works and I'm planning on making at least one more and possibly in my sushi fabric. This fabric I keep on changing my mind about what I'm going to make with it but possibly yeah I think or it's I'm going to look ridiculous but who cares uh, as a casual piece I think probably it's going to look good so if I have enough fabric I might make one piece. We'll see. What do you think? <laughs> Will I look ridiculous or will I care? I don't think so. Um, as long as it's fun, I think I will wear it. Um, but that's it for the first make. So I'll show you the second one in a minute. Let me change. All right, so the next make I have is the Simplicity 1080. That's what I'm wearing. I think it's the 
Doty Angel Doty Angel collection. It's a vintage inspired collection. And that's how it looks like. It's with this lovely green, very soft fabric. It has a tie in the back and I have those little squirrel pockets, very deep pockets. And um, it's been a very fun make, very quick as well uh, from the grand scheme of things. Some of you had warned me about the pattern not being that clear. And I would agree, especially on the sleeves. It's some stuff, it took me a few reads before I was like, okay, let's try this. So I'm planning to make a second one of these with the panel at the bottom. If you want a so long type video, let me know so I will be happy to oblige. And some of you also uh, told me about the very scoopy neckline and to that I would agree as well. So it's quite scoopy here and in the back as you can see. So I'm always going to layer, uh, especially in winter. Uh, it's already starting to be quite chilly here so I'm, I'm always going to wear these type of tops underneath but ideally maybe having the the back neckline not as scoopy would be quite nice but I would say uh, for the summer I think it would look quite nice just like that without any layering if it looks like this let's see let's, let's try to fake it let's think it's summer and it's warm and no so I think it would be quite nice, quite flattering. I've made it with some fabric that I bought from Japan, so I'm not too sure about what it was because everything was in Japanese, obviously, and um, I just picked things at random that I liked. Uh, but it's a very soft fabric, very easy to work with. Fraying a bit like crazy, but um, you know, if you're quick enough, it's fine. Uh, my neckline here is not laying flushed. It's not moving a bit, so I think I need to be uh, a bit better with my binding skills. Everything is done with a bias binding, by the way. And I have a tape finish here. So the pattern calls quite a lot for some single fold bias binding. Here's the thing, I couldn't find any anywhere here in the UK. Um, everywhere I asked, they said it was quite an American thing. Uh, for quilting I believe so I don't know if there is any of you who are familiar with it if you can let me know uh, so instead of using single fold bias binding I used this kind of tape so this kind of very soft tapes and it worked so I'm happy enough with that the size that I've made is the medium size medium on it and it just fits well the only thing I would possibly change is where the ties are, so they're here. I would possibly put them a tiny bit lower down so it will um, go a bit better with my true waist. I have a long torso, so it's sitting a bit high for my liking. Um, but other than that, I'm pretty happy with this. So that's good. Now for my plans for October. I'm already forgetting the date there. Um, I have three things that I would like to make and I would be very happy if I managed to make them. So the first one, my, one of my colleagues turned 40 and she saw my Totoro pencil case and she really liked it so she wanted something similar for herself. She wanted something uh, with a dog because she loves dogs and stuff. So we settled on an emoji because it would be a lot easier to make. So we are going to do a dog emoji pencil case for her. I am planning to make a Kaizen edition work in progress video. So you're going to see this on my channel and you're going to be able to deconstruct everything and make your own if you want to. And it can be applied to any emojis, I guess. Well, any of the simple one, I would say. So the next thing that I want to make is from this book here. And I would like to do a review for this soon, but I do not want to do a review on any sewing books until I have made stuff from it or used the techniques that they are showcasing. So I, I need to get on it basically. And I want to make this, uh, how does it call it? A baby doll top. So there's few different options for this pattern. So you can make the dress, the wrap dress, which at some point I will make, but I want to start with the top. And you can do uh, the cap sleeve one or the French sleeve one. So I haven't decided which one I want to make yet, but I want to use this fabric here. It's the same one as this, but in purple, but I'm a bloody idiot and I only bought one meter of this. 
So I'm limited on what I can do because otherwise I would have made another Simplicity 1080 with this and I'd be very happy with it, but only two meters. Ooh. Why? Why did I do this? It was quite cheap as well. I don't know why. What happened in my head? I need to find something that would work with this type of length and I think that's going to be just fine. So, finger crossed. And the next one that I want to make, I've already cut everything, so I'm on track for it, and it's the Simplicity 8230. Yes, it's the same collection as this one. And I want to make the apron dress. So you can tie it in the front or you can tie it at the back. Uh, I'm not making it with the contrasting pockets. I think everything is going to be in the same fabric. And it's this fabric, so it's my vintage scissor fabric. I think it's going to be just nice. I was going to make the Orla dress with it, but I changed my mind. Because I changed my mind about everything, so I'll do that as well. Um, it should be quite a quick make, and I think in terms of the neckline, it should be better. So if it's better, what I will do is just merge those two patterns and get the neckline from here and to put it on here, possibly, and see how it works. But I think it would be quite nice. And I will layer with this and possibly put my fake decorative collar with it. Why not? Because uh, I do not really like the shirting fabric, you know, it's not very warm. But having a nice collar on the top, I think it looks nice. So that's it for me today. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know as well what are your plans for sewing or what you've been sewing. I am always in the lookout for inspiration, uh, for new patterns, so uh, if, you, if you have some that you've tried and you think I need to sew, let me know in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video.